Hello. One of the most powerful punches ever created. The right hand uppercut is accredited to being invented by Samuel Ellis or Dutch Sam, a pioneer of boxing act of 1801 to 1814. At the time he was acknowledged as the hardest hitter in boxing, titled The Man with the Iron Hand, partially because of his implementation of such a devastating technique before anyone else had the tools to properly deal with it. Thank you for joining me as we dissect this devastating punch in the world of competitive hand-to-hand -hand combat. This was a recent fight, a stunning display for Alexander Gustafsson. His uppercut is unusual as it almost looks like a bola uppercut. But the bola is traditionally more of a sweeping motion circling from the side, and as a result, it strikes from an awkward angle, in between the angle of a hook and a proper uppercut. This is almost like the uppercut equivalent to Gennady Golovkin's hook. Where a proper hook is a tight, short movement, Gennady slings his arm back, using the elasticity of his fascia to generate elastic recoil. It appears Alexander is doing something similar here, throwing his arm back and off the elasticity of his bicep, slinging with his hips straight up. Very unorthodox and traditionally more telegraphed as a result, but very powerful nonetheless. Which leads to another question. Why couldn't Glover deal with this punch? His way of shelling up by tucking his chin down and forward alongside the way he'd raise his arms to guard, it mitigated a lot of potential threat from straight punches and hooks, which is actually one of the reasons why Glover has been so hard to knock out. Basically, a strong shell for him to continually pressuring forward with. But for that same dynamic, like the armadillo's belly, it was vulnerable from strikes coming upward. Anthony Rumble Johnson took advantage of Glover near instantaneously for the same reason. A punch coming straight up from underneath, smashing the off switch. Here, Conor McGregor uses Seferino Garcia's bull uppercut for Marcus Brimage. For the same reason, Rumble and Alexander use the uppercut on Glover. Marcus leans in with his head forward alongside having his hands raised, making it very difficult for straight punches and hooks to focus the chin. By tilting, or slipping to a side to compensate for the bola uppercut's awkward angle. Connor exploited the soft belly of Marcus's shell-like guard by coming straight up. It's also powerful when exploiting patterns of head movement. Here, Joe Walcott baits the jab by having his hands low, and as he walks in, Charles throws his jab and notice as Charles lowers his stance and slips following the jab. Joe predicts this, and from his hips straight up, head and uppercut collide, resulting in a car crash of a concussion. It's a similar story with Chan Sung Jun vs Dennis Bermudez. Dennis has that forward shell-like guard and he ducks deep with his jab. Chan picks up on this, and as Dennis comes in ducking, Chan meets it from the other side with an uppercut, the two colliding into each other. This is the uppercut that rocks Klitschko and basically ends the fight. Klitschko ducks Anthony's wide lead hook, seeing it coming from a mile away. But look at how Anthony uses it to hold Klitschko's head down, meeting Klitschko with a clean uppercut. And you can see Klitschko, his face, it looks like he's expressing, oh crap, and he's, he's trying to pull away, but he can't due to the weight of Anthony's lead arm holding him down. There's nowhere he can go, and almost like a deer in headlights. Crash. And finally, the king of the uppercut. Mike always likes to mix up his strikes rapidly from body to head or head to body, playing a back and forth game to keep you guessing and hurting you with the sheer ferocity of each strike, regardless of if you guess correctly. Because at the end of the day, paired with Custy Amato's genius, this man was a monster. Here in this instance, Mike ends things quickly. Mike gauges with his left and comes in with a devastating uppercut, completely bypassing his opponent's guard. Mike's opponent shells up with a high guard, and cutting straight through the middle, sends his opponent's head flying into the air. The uppercut. It's not only a good tool to exploit a head that's leaning too forward, or exploiting a habitual slipper duck, but as Mike clearly indicates here, it's a strong tool against the high guard as well. And to that end, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment highlighting the uppercut and a few ways it can be used. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It's Kokarma, and until next time, peace.